Hi, my name is Dennis Pipol, and I'm a designer, new media artist, and professor for media art and design at the University of the Arts in Bremen, Germany. Um, this video is the first in a series of videos that introduce Klangstrom. Um, Klangstrom is an infrastructure to facilitate generative, networked, embedded sound, music, and composition. Um, this project is developed and maintained in collaboration with Jakob Remen, artist, engineer, composer, and designer from Copenhagen. In the series, Klangstrom will be introduced by its structure and components, as well as by example and through application. Uh, Klangstrom is an infrastructure. It's comprised of hardware, software, and learning resources. Um, the hardware side is manifested in development boards. Like this one, for example, this is the first one we did. It is called Klangstrom Core, and it is pretty much a, a test for a lot of peripherals that we wanted to um, test out, uh, where some did work well and others not so well. So the first um, real development board is uh, this one here. It's called Klangstrom Tiny. It's much smaller and has a smaller microcontroller on it, but it features uh, programmable GPIOs and other peripheral. It has uh, uh, encoders with push buttons in the front, programmable LEDs and audio inputs and outputs. It also features a USB port and some other things. And then the latest addition to the family is this one here. It is called Klangstrom Sheep and has a sheep printed on the front of the PCB. It also features GPIO pins uh, and USB connectors, audio inputs and outputs, and has D-card reader and uh, rotary encoders as well, 16 programmable LEDs and a TFT display. The boards will be introduced in much more detail in later videos. Um, the software side is comprised of three libraries, Klangstrom, Klang and Strom, where Klangstrom supplies the environment, like handling events and connecting to peripherals. It is more or less the board's firmware. Klang is the library for sound synthesis and sound processing. For example, oscillators and samplers and filters and envelopes and effects. And Strom is the library for algorithmic and generative composition. For example, sequences, arpeggiators, musical scales, etc. Um, all libraries come with a series of examples and um, the boards can be programmed from within the well-known Arduino uh, IDE. Um, yeah, and there's also an emulator um, that allows to run sketches or applications from within the Arduino IDE on your desktop, comp desktop computer without the need for an actual development board like this. Um, lastly, there are library documentations and other articles on the Klangstrom website. And there is also a development blog, of course. Um, all hardware and software is uh, open source. Um, it's available on GitHub and released under the Creative Commons license. Um, you can find links to the project in the description below. And this concludes the overview of the Klangstrom project.